Well, the Jags are getting ready to kick off their second day of training camp today, and given the team's performance last year, the expectations are very high. Head coach Doug Marone has already said the next few weeks will not be easy. In fact, he's used one word to describe the level of difficulty, and that is grind. The team is also starting camp without two key defensive players, Jalen Ramsey and Dante Fowler. Fowler is starting to camp on the physically unable to perform list. He has a left shoulder injury, and Jalen Ramsey and his girlfriend just welcomed a baby girl, so he should be there any time. Joining me this morning, News for Jacks analyst Mark Brunel. Mark, it's only the second day. Um, they're not in full pads, so it's not, not like real practice, but they are pumped up, and they are so excited for this. And, and Nikki, the first day you are always excited about starting football again, and, and that's what we saw at practice yesterday. It's when you get to the ninth practice, the tenth practice, when it's getting hotter and you're in pads and you're yeah. hitting and you're out there forever. That's when you want to see a team show a lot of enthusiasm and, uh, and have a lot of energy. That will happen for this group. It's a good football. It's going to be a good football team. But yesterday was great. Football is back. Uh, guys are flying around working hard. And I think uh, Doug Marone was pleased with what he saw yesterday. All right. So when you were out there, any, any big standouts? Anybody come out of the gate swinging? Yeah, there was a, uh, uh, Austin Safirian Jenkins uh, uh, made a nice catch. Uh, Dante Moncrief made a nice catch. Two newcomers to the Jaguars. So that's good to see. That's great. Uh, Didi Westbrook made a few catches, the young receiver. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there were some, some, uh, some good things happening out there early, which is good. So, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun to see Blake Bortles completing long passes down the field. It's something to get excited about. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about Blake because I know yeah. that's what everybody is wanting to hear this morning. <laughs> How did he look yesterday? He looked, he looked uh, like a veteran. You know, it wasn't that long ago. It was 12 months ago tomorrow that he had that, inter that uh, five interception uh, practice and everyone was worried about, hey, is this the guy? Should we go with, you know, with Chad Henney? Is he going to be our starter? Here he is a year later. Out there yesterday, he looked confident, carried himself very well, made some nice throws, wasn't forcing anything down the field, took some checkdowns. He looked like a veteran that has had a lot of success. And, uh, and Blake did have a lot of success yesterday, um, last year, and he is a veteran. So what's good going into this season, Nikki, is that we have a quarterback. We don't have to worry about that position. And, and the team rises and falls on the play of our quarterback. That's how it is throughout the NFL on every team. You got a quarterback? And win football games. Nobody knows that better than you. Um, <laughs> one, one last quick question for yep. you. You know, I know everybody's excited. It's the first day. Today's the second day. When do you really get an idea of, of what this team is going to be by being able to watch them in practice that's a, and in even preseason? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and uh, you know, the, uh, the the fans that go to the practice, the media that's, that's shoved off to the side, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard to see the full practice and really get a feel for what's going on out there. Um, but I think a team starts to come together really week two, week three. I think if you ask Tom Coughlin and Doug Marone, they'd say you, you start learning about the personality of the team after a couple, couple weeks in, uh, what kind of character they have, what kind of resolve they have. Are they hard workers? Are they a close-knit group? Those kind of things, they, that just doesn't happen overnight. It takes a little while into training camp, um, but those are all the things that you want to see, and I think we expect to see them with this group. It's a good group. Yeah, it, it, it really is, and I know everybody has very high expectations and very positive thoughts for the Jaguars this year. All right, so today's training camp from 1030 to 1. If you want to go admissions free, you have to register, though, and you can find a link on our website. And each day during training camp, our sports team is going to be giving you a wrap-up of the day's activities. You can find the training camp report that outlines the play of the day and what's next on news4jacks.com sports.